Hey guys! Greetings and salutations, AMF7 here with something a little different than my usual shenanigans. So, first of all, happy spring everybody! I hope the weather was better to you than it was to me. Here on the East Coast, it is not nice to us right now. We recently had a snowstorm, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I went out on a little, very short hunt this morning, and I actually found at GameStop something, which I will get to last, but at Barnes & Noble, they have the, Sh the Shining Legends pin box sets, the smaller ones. They also have the Tapu Koko ones, and I bought all those out last night, but these are like 50% off, and members save an extra 10 so, since I was a member, I saved 60%. In any case, I want to see if this sale is really worth it to see if I can get anything good. So I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to put the camera down for one minute. So be prepared for a black screen or whatnot. And that way I can just, you know, do it. So, forgive me for this. Okay, so, while I do this, how was everybody's week? Did you guys do anything exciting? I really hope you guys did. Everybody deserves something nice, you know? Whoop, I dropped the pen there. I am not the most professional YouTuber in the world. I only do this out of hobby. I don't do it to make any funds or whatnot. So, please understand. In the words of Iwata, the former Nintendo... Japan president, please understand. So, I already got one set opened. I'm not going to do what I did the last time. Of course, I'm going to clean up after myself, because my, as my father always told me, when you make a mess, you clean a mess. So, I'm just sorting everything out here by whatever. I don't know at this point. Forgive my stuttering, please. So, I'm going to open everything like this. And now on to the last box. Oh gosh, I just love organizing during a video sometimes. Isn't that wonderful? Hashtag sarcasm. I know. And I apologize. Okay. Finally got everything out. So, okay. Here we go. Now... Honestly, this may actually be a two-parter. I'm going to open up Shining Legends first. Then I'm going to do another video where I will tell you guys the news that I've been wanting to tell. Since I really didn't organize this first part well. Forgive me for this. I'm going to pre-open everything. Well, not really pre-open since we're already on video. But you know what? It is what it is. Pokemon card opening is like a therapy for me. I just love that rush. Like... What am I going to get? What am I going to get? <gasps> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to inhale dramatically like that. But that's just how it feels sometimes. When I, do that. Ooh, I hate it when the screen rotates. Okay. One. Got to get the rest of these pre-opened. Forgive me, everybody. So I really do apologize for this. Um, in any event... I just want everybody to know that I'm not rigging the boosters at all. Because some people have been suspected of doing so, when in reality they haven't, so I'm just trying to play it safe. And these are legit openings, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not rigging the boosters. Just thought I'd let you know that. My continuous chatter, I do apologize. But I'm just trying to keep things mildly entertained. But anyway, what do you guys think about the next set coming out? I think it's already in Japan at this point. Um, do you think they'll have the Dusk Form Lycanroc GX? I would love one of those because the Dusk Form, in my opinion, is my favorite form. Not just because it appeared in the anime of Sun um, and Moon. Forgive my stuttering, please. But just because it just looks like sheer, sheer awesomeness right there. All right. Now, let's get started with the Zoroark box. Okay. Okay. 
they are. Okay, Energy, Venusaur, Arbok, Incineroar, Code Card, Shroomish. Oi, come on, camera, really? Totodile, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Stunfisk, a, re a Reverse Hollow Croconaw, and a Zekrom Hollow. With the Shining Legends, it seems that all you're going to get are hollows. So they honestly count as rares in my opinions. I don't think I'm going to get any hits on this, but whatever. Steel Energy, Electrode, Float Soul, Arbok, Code Card, uh, Larvesta, Breloom, Torcat, Plusle, Zorua, uh, Reverse Lightning Energy, and a Latios. Last one for the Zoroark box, at least. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Okay, here we go. Water Energy, Venusaur, Ultra Ball, Leopard, Code Card. Yeah, I know I'm doing it wrong, and I'm sorry. Torkoal, Ivysaur, Zorua, Litten, uh, Quillfish, Reverse Hollow, Verizion, and... <gasps> Whoa! Okay! And... Entei GX Full Art. Okay, one moment. That was a hit. That was a hit. Okay, wow. Wow. Okay, that is awesome. I'm going to put that right there. And put my trusty sleeves down there. Alright. You know what? This is going to be a three-parter because I really need to organize. Wait, you know what? No. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's get started on the next ones. I'll only do two parts. I have no time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that before the sweet round. Jeez, why is my camera always going out of focus? Or just rotating on its own? That's stupid. Anyway. Okay. That was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Fighting Energy, for alligators, Sophocles, Super Scoop Up, Plusle, Toracat, Scraggy. Quillfish, Torkoal, Reverse Hollow, Warp Energy, and a Verizion Hollow. Next one from the Mars Shadow Box. That was the first Mars Shadow Boost um, box. That was the first pack from the Mars Shadow Box. So just making things aware here. Um, okay, here we go. Um, fire Energy for Alligator. Whoops. Wait a minute. There. Uh, Ultra Ball. Pokemon Breeder, Croconaw, Jinx, Plusle, Toracat, Totodile, Reverse, Hollow, Latios, and... <gasps> Whoa! Okay! A Raichu GX. One moment. Oh no, my camera out-rotated itself again. Okay. Wow, okay, another hit from from another box. This is crazy. Let me get some sleeves out of the plastic to prepare for this, because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, in case you didn't know, I have two kinds of sleeves. The Tapu Koko sleeves are for ones that I'm going to be selling, and the Duskmane Necrozma ones are ones that I want to keep, which is very rare. All right, so last one from the first Marshadow Mar box. Like I said, I'm not the most professional YouTuber in the world. I don't do this for funds. I don't do it for fame or anything along the sort. So please understand why my videos are the way they are. And that's pretty much what I need to say for that. Um, okay, here we go. Water energy. Switch. How. Damage remover. Scraggy. Croconaw. Jinx. Pikachu. Ekans, Reverse Hollow, Carnivine, and a Hoopa Hollow Rare. Alright. Okay, so the last part of this one-parter is the last Marshadow box here. So, I'm going to... Oh, stop rotating on me, camera. Gosh. So, I'm just going to do this last part, and then I'm going to prepare myself for the next ones. Okay, we got Fairy Energy, for alligator, Super Scoop Up, Sophocles, Torkoal, Minin, Jinx, Scraggy, 
Shroomish Reverse Hollow Pikachu, and another Hollow Rare Hoopa. So, yeah, this video is not gonna is 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 not gonna be that much longer. I promise you that. Um, I mean, just darn. Okay, here we go. All right, Water Energy Lily Carnivine Feraligator Croconaw Pikachu Ekans Zoroa Weasel Ivysaur Reverse and a Palkia Hollow. Last pack for this first parter, anyway. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Fighting Energy, How, Great Ball, Electrode, Litten, Larvesta, Purloin, Croconaw, Pikachu, Reverse, Hollow Switch, and a Zekrom, Hollow Ring. But these two were pretty good hits, as far as I can tell. All right, so part two is coming up in a bit. I just need to get organized for this, all right? With that being said, AMF7 out.